The Tattered Professional, Deshaun Williams, Speech 1321. The purpose of this presentation is to persuade individuals with tattoos to seek employment with fit skill set without mental negativity or vice versa um, from the employers. Preview of main points, changing the perception, changing policies, increased confidence with those seeking employment, conclusion, and references. Changing the perception. Back in 2006, when I joined the military, it was very difficult for you to come in when you even had, when you had tattoos. They didn't want to see anything past the elbow and they didn't want to see anything on the hands or remotely anything near the neck. Towards 2011, 2012, that policy changed dramatically. You could have tattoos that went past the elbow, and you couldn't have anything past the hands and anything on the neck, uh, especially if you were serving in a position of trust, i.e. recruiters or drill sergeants, those who were seen um, day to day and modeling our, our future soldiers. Uh, fast forward to 2022, now you can have tattoos on your neck, Pass your hands or on your hands no more than an inch uh, worth of surface space on your on the palm or on, on the uh, outside of your hand. So as as we see, these policies are changing um, from 2006, seven all the way up to 2022. The acceptance of tattoos within our United States military has changed dramatically. Now, when we start to look at a setting of those of a professional athlete. We have, you've seen across the years that, you know, there's really not been a policy for athletes and, and professionals when it, or athletic professionals when it comes to tattoos. Um, they just pretty much have them and they're everywhere. Now, with that being said, um, I'm going to give some numerical and, and statistical data that support, supports what I'm stating. About 40% of the U.S. workforce has tattoos. Uh, with that being said, about 40% of employees believe tattoos aren't appropriate in the workplace. And almost 90% of people accept ink of, on professional athletes and personal trainers. Outright discrimination against tattoos at work is low by only 4%. By only 4 Changing policies. Provide methods to change corporate perceptions, implementing, implementing changes in policy letters, inform human resources on policy changes, and talent management statistics. Um, when it comes to providing methods to change corporate perceptions, um, kind of go back to what I was talking about with um, the changes that you see in the military. So as you start to see veterans that are coming out and these policies are changing with them, it kind of would be imperative for white collar and blue collar um, jobs also kind of keep up with that as well. Um, policies are going to change naturally it just as, as a course of time with, like I said, with, the, with your generation. Um, so it'd be best to just kind of keep up with, with that and keep an equal balance. Implementing the changes in policy letters, um, you know, it's just simple. Yes, the, the tattoo placement is, is very important. You know, you don't want to come in there with nothing on your face. But, um, you know, letting them know as far as like, hey, you know, having something past the elbow is fine. Um, as long as it's not showing anything, you know, like racial or discriminatory or anything like that of that nature. Um, you still have to have parameters. Um, um, and, you know, informing everybody of these changes, including uh, HR. And then also, it's, a, it's all about talent management, you know. You don't want to necessarily just say, okay, I'm not going to hire this person, this person, and this person because I can, if they wear a polo shirt on this day, and we have to do X, Y, Z, and I can see their tattoos, and it's going to, you know, deter from the corporate perception of blah, blah. Then you start to kind of minimize yourself on what you're hiring and what you're bringing in for, you know, your, your future and your longevity of your, your business. So you definitely don't want to do that. Um, increasing job seeker confidence. Um, want to provide some data on how tattoo policies are changing. Dressing for the occasion. Have boundaries on tattoo placement. And do not handicap yourself. So, you know, like once again, 
Um, the placement is very important. You know, like I said, you don't want to come in there and you're trying to give a meeting and everybody's distracted by, you know, something you got written on your forehead. Um, yeah, you just don't want to do that. Um, having boundaries. I mean, um, now dressing for the occasion. Um, same thing, you know, if you're going in for an interview, um, regardless of what, what, what it is, you know, of course, dress for the occasion, but, um, don't be afraid to, to show them, um, unless, you know, you have something that's kind of just like egregious, maybe like on the front of your neck. So go ahead and just <laughs> wear a polo and button that thing up and try to cover it so you can make it through that prison, make it through that interview. But, um, yeah. And then as far as on how the policies are changing, um, we already talked about that um, in reference when it came to the military's policy on how they're changing. And it's it's the same exact thing across the board for civilians as well, I know it's the civilian sector. Um, if anything, they're actually a little bit more progressive than, uh, than when it comes to the military. Um, and then to wrap all of this up, we need to change the perception, change our policies, and increase confidence for those who do have tattoos when it comes to employment. The um, changing the perception and changing the policies is really half the battle. Um, even though we've made some some dramatic changes in comparison to like say late 90s all the way up until now, um, that's really not so much of an issue as what it was back then. But we still need to keep in mind that there is professionalism and there is boundaries. Um, the references, you can see them right there. Feel free to check them out. It's all four of them. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Changing policies. Provide methods to change corporate perceptions, implementing changes in policy letters, inform human resources on policy changes, and talent management statistics. So what I mean by that and with changing corporate perceptions is as generations come along and as times change, everything else must change, you know. Now, am I saying you're going to have the CEO of Apple sitting there with a cross tattooed on his forehead and he's talking about, you know, data from what happened in 2022? Nah, it's probably not going to happen, you know. Um, but what I am saying is, is don't become deterred to, to go and look for um, something that fits your skill set because you have sleeves or you, you have tattoos that are visible on your, on your neck, on your hands. The times are uh, changing and 
that's no so much as a not so much as a hindrance as what it was back in say, you know, the early two thousands or late nineties. Um, how can we implement these changes um, in policy letters and then informing our HR when it comes to the interview process to let them know, you know, like hey, you know, just because you see this on this individual or whatever the case may be, does not um, mean that this individual is not or does not make him you have to edit this part because what's the word I'm looking for does not make him eligible for the job because of his tattoos or the placement now of course you know we're not talking about bringing in somebody that has like a swastika or something like that or that nature on their arm or you know yeah all of that stuff is still important but what I'm saying is is because you know you might have a full sleeve or whatever the case may be, doesn't mean that you're not eligible for job placement. Um, a lot of the individuals, especially like myself, were coming from a military background. It just kind of comes in the nature of the profession. It's just one of those things. Now that we've talked about the perception, the policies, and increasing your confidence with finding employment with your tattoos and being more comfortable within your skin. Um, hopefully we learn something from this speech. Did I mess that up? I don't know, cuz. I'm gonna have to do some editing.